We're doing something that we never do. We're recording on the phone. We never do that, do we? Not very often, mm, no. We're going somewhere. We're going there! Woo! We've already started off on a bit of a drama. There is no signal out here, none whatsoever. So, if you do come to the uh, Harry Potter experience, make sure you download your tickets before you get here. There we go. Looking forward to it? Yes. Should be fun. Right, let's go in, see what it's all about. Never filmed on the phone before. We normally have the camera. So, hopefully, the light should be all right. What do you say? I think it'll be fine. You think it'll be fine? Yeah. So, uh, well, there's Steve, by the way. Hi. We don't bring him up much. No, it's not allowed out no, very often. It has to be in a certain time. You could have your very own owl in the van. Already got a twit through in the van. I will say one thing if you are coming. We're well east. It's a bit muddy. So definitely wear wellies, Emma. Yeah? I got boots on me. Emma's got a boots on. I've got new trainers on. We found the man, haven't we? Who is it? It's Hagrid. Oh. He's here. He's here looking at the It's nearly dark. Who should be? Someone sees you outside the castle. This dog is going to be in trouble. Big trouble. Just be aware, little necklace. We've been spotted in this area. She might try and attack you. Right, we found a big sparrow. What's it called? Uh, do you know how to treat it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I never got this one when we went to London. I, I didn't know what this was either. I just called it the big sparrow. It's not a sparrow. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but... It's bowing. It's bowing. So he's obviously likes being a sparrow. He's not a sparrow. Oh, whatever. Right, in the middle of the forest, there's, um, there's this car. So we, we do reckon that somewhere around here, there's going to be big spooders. Right, apparently we're, we're now, we are now going for a one battle. We know I'm going to win because Emma's really into Harry Potter and I mightn't be as much as she is, but we'll see, what we, we'll see who wins. We have a wand. Emma's standing there. I'm going to be over there. So, we think it's time, isn't it? I think so, yeah. What's it time for? Hot chocolate and donuts. It's always time for hot chocolate, but they're better than yeah, Harry Potter hot chocolate and donuts. Definitely donut time. They look so good. Don't they? It genuinely looks so good. And we're not cheering. So we're just sitting down with our donuts. What do you want? Your donut. Wants my donut. Wants my donut. Yeah. You're always stealing my food. Thanks. And she's eating her donuts as well, but now she wants mine.
plain one. Yeah. I'm choosing this <laughs> plain one because it's clearly the best. <laughs> and did you know your style? No. Expecto Patronum. Right. Come from the heart, give it a shout and a flip. Expecto Patronum. <laughs> See? Do you call me a badger? Because you actually, will disappear, Patronum. You are actually an angry badger, so <laughs> that kind of does fit. You have two people go missing in this woods. Now, is it me or does full moon cycles sound like a really good shop? Look at all the magic mushrooms! They're everywhere! I have got a wand and we're going to do that. Ready? McFreezy! That's wrong. That's true, isn't it? Yes, look. Of course. You can heal it, lemons as well. Oh, look, they're all out there. A family of fun. Oh, little elves. Where are we now, Em? We are in Nopesville. Yeah, this is where all the spiders are. Our friend who's with us, Steve. Well, <laughs> all I can say is he likes spiders as much as I like dentists. <laughs> so he's um, standing back there like a uh, big chicken. Psyching himself up. Right, so we're now in the spider bit. Um, Steve's run off. Um, he, he doesn't want to be a part of this, but we've, we've, we're not scared of spiders, are we? Oh, we're not scared of spiders. Um, here we go. Loads of spoodies come down the sky, didn't they? Not at all. Ooh. Tell you what, if you don't like spoodies, then come and don't come in here because yeah. You can't actually walk past this. Bit. You can. They allow you to walk past, but you know, if you don't like nopes, don't stay on the nope ropes. Because this is a hell nope. We found what is it? Chuchang mistletoe? Oh, it's pretty. So we're back at the beginning now, and it was good, wasn't it? We really enjoyed it. Um, if you are up this neck of the woods, then definitely check it out. We'll leave all the links in the description to where it is and what you do and how much it is and things like that. So definitely come, definitely check it out. So we're just looking on Emma's phone at the prices of them. So the Harry Potter Forbidden Forest Experience from £19.50. But when you click on it to book it, £46. 
as good as it was, that is a bit expensive, isn't it? Well, it is and it's not. If you've got, say you've got two kids, mum, dad, two kids. I think the kids will probably be the 1950, I reckon. So it's going to cost you £140 if the kids are 19. If they're not, that's £200. Again, as good as it was, that's a little bit expensive. But we still, we still had a good time. We had a we great did. time. It was well organised. It was well maintained. It was well lit up. To everything was working. There was no, no, like this wasn't working. Or some of the like, everything worked perfect. Um, toilets were clean. Toilets were clean. Loads of stuff to buy. Um, plenty of food stalls. Um, a little bit expensive. Yeah, but... the, the, the food, the drinks... It was festival prices, wasn't it? £5.50 for a hot chocolate. chocolate. £5.50 for a hot chocolate. I I know it's probably cost you £3 to boil a kettle with today's, you know, rate of electricity. (laughs) But, (laughs) um, yeah, maybe that's why it was so quiet. Because it was a Monday night as well. It was a Monday night, but still enjoyed it. Not knocking it. Just not on the price. I think the price is a little bit out of most people's reach right now, especially with what's going on in the world. But you know what I mean? If you've got a couple of kids, it, it, that could be a, an expensive do. And you do need a car to, to go there. Oh, yeah, it's, it's totally uh, out of the way. You yeah, sticks. It's in, it's, you can't get a bus and walk there. Um, if you Well, you could, but by the time you've walked there, it'd be probably closed. Um, it is literally in the middle of nowhere. I think... It was as good as the Harry Potter experience down in London. For showmanship and the way it was ran. and oh. It wasn't like, a, you know, Dave's got a farm here. Let's put a bit of a broom in the corner and light it up. Oh, no, it was properly... It was properly run. It was, it was done properly. Would I rather go there or go to the experience down in the studios? I think for me, the studios. Hundred percent, the studios. Just and to be fair, studios aren't really that far off the price of what you're paying to go there. And there's, there, it's there's, a lot bigger, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot, lot bigger. More. So much more to do. Loads of information. And if it's raining, it doesn't matter. But definitely, if you can afford we it, there. go and check it out. <laughs> if you don't like it, by the way, um, I'm sure you'll let us know in the comments section. Bye bye. You're a wizard, Harry.